Hello and you are very welcome back to Film Resolved, the channel where you can learn filmmaking techniques and how to pull them all together in DaVinci Resolve. And in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how you can update your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K or 6K to Camera Update 7.3 or any camera update for that matter. To cater for all skill levels, we're going to cover some really basic stuff, so definitely check the timestamps and see if there's any sections you're already happy with so you can just skip them and save some time. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell. And as always, please do hit the thumbs up as it really is one of the best ways that you can just give back a little and help the channel out. But with that out of the way, let's jump into it. When updating the firmware of any device, you want to make sure you avoid the potential for power cuts during the updating process, because if there is an abrupt power loss mid process, you will basically be left with an expensive paperweight. So some situations you'll want to avoid is updating during a thunder and lightning storm, a wind storm, or if you've been notified of maintenance taking place on your local electrical grid, avoid those times at all costs. The first step I will always do when updating my camera is first exporting my user preset from the camera so I can later re-import it and save myself some time getting the camera set back to the way I had it before I did the update. Because when you update the camera, it's essentially a factory reset and you will lose all of those settings. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you remove any electronic based accessories. But to be honest with you, on the safe side, I would just strip everything back and leave yourself with just a body and an internal battery. So that means getting rid of speed boosters, smart adapters, modern glass with electronic connectors, SD cards, SSD cards, CFast cards, anything at all. If you want to play it safe, strip it right back. The only other things you will need to do the update are a computer, your mains wall adapter to have continuous power supply to your camera, as well as a USB connection to your computer so that they can communicate and perform the update. So with that out of the way, let's jump onto the computer and we'll download the software and go over the installation process. First, let's make our way over to the Blackmagic Design website. Then on the homepage, if we come over to the support option here, and if it's been a while and there's tons of things in latest downloads, you can kind of filter through the noise by clicking on professional cameras. That'll at least bring you into things only related to cameras, but it's been super soon. So obviously camera update 7.3 is right there on top. For me, I'm going to click on Windows. Obviously, if you're on Mac OS, click on Mac OS. If you want to register and download, fill in your details. I'm just going to hit download only, and we will wait for that to finish downloading onto our system. Once that's finished downloading, you'll of course want to go to wherever it is you've saved it on your system and unzip that folder. So it's important to note that this right here is not the specific firmware for the camera that you have, whether it be the 4K or the 6K or the 6K Pro, which is going to address some bugs on that camera. This is kind of like an overall firmware package and it's kind of compatible with all available Blackmagic cameras. And once it's installed to your computer and it's opened and you have your camera plugged in, it will then detect which camera it is looking at and whether there is or isn't a firmware specific to that model within the package for it to install. So once that is installed, we can search for black magic camera setup and then we'll open that up. So as you can see here, no cameras or accessories found. It is at this point that you will want to power on your camera and plug it into the computer via the USB-C connection. And just a friendly reminder, again, making sure that you have no additional electronic accessories attached to the camera. So with that done, it should detect what camera you have plugged in and if there is an update available and which you can see we do have an update available and we'll just hit update now and let it do its thing, making sure that we keep it powered on and that it is plugged into a continuous power supply at all times. And once this window pops up saying update complete, your camera has been updated, is ready to use, then you know that you are in the clear, that you can close the software and unplug your camera and power it on. Now it's at this point that you would be best to 
install your camera presets that you would have saved earlier on if you've done that to get it back to the way you would have liked it to before you've done the update and it's also a good idea to reinstall any LUTs that you had on there all your favorite LUTs for monitoring and exposing all that stuff and then you'll be back up and running to the way that you liked but with the latest greatest firmware. So it's just worth noting that not everything translated perfectly from my old camera preset to this camera. For example, my function button three should have been peaking, but it turned into frame guides. So not surprisingly, there is one or two little hiccups with that crossover with such a big update after happening. So it's definitely worth just updating and refreshing that camera preset for future use. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Did I miss something that should have been covered in this tutorial? Leave a comment below so I know to cover it in the future. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. My name is Lee Dalton. This is Film Resolve. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.